Colon cancer. Colon disease is a kind of malignant growth that starts in the digestive organ, colon. The colon is the last piece of the stomach-related parcel. Colon cancer regularly influences more established grown-ups, however it can occur at whatever stage in life. It normally starts as little, non-cancerous, favorable, bunches of cells considered polyps that structure within the colon. After some time a portion of these polyps can become colon tumors. Polyps might be little and produce scarcely any indications. Consequently, specialists prescribe normal screening tests to help forestall colon disease by recognizing and eliminating polyps before they transform into malignancy. In the event that colon cancer creates, numerous therapies are accessible to help control it, including a medical procedure, radiation treatment and medication therapies, like chemotherapy, directed treatment and immunotherapy. Colon cancer is in some cases called colorectal malignant growth, which is a term that joins colon malignant growth and rectal disease, which starts in the rectum. Side effects. Signs and indications of colon disease include a diligent change in your inside propensities, remembering loose bowels or clogging or a change for the consistency of your stool, rectal draining or blood in your stool, tireless stomach inconvenience, like issues, gas or agony, an inclination that your entrail doesn't void totally, shortcoming or weariness, unexplained weight reduction. Numerous individuals with colon malignant growth experience no indications in the beginning phases of the infection. At the point when manifestations show up, they'll probably differ, contingent upon the malignancy size and area in your internal organ. When to see a specialist. In the event that you notice any constant manifestations that concern you, Make a meeting with your PCP. Talk with your PCP about when to start colon malignancy screening. Rules by and large suggest that colon malignancy screenings start around 50. Your PCP may suggest more incessant or prior screening in the event that you have other danger factors, for example, a family background of the sickness. Causes. Specialists aren't sure what causes most colon tumors. As a rule, Colon malignant growth starts when solid cells in the colon foster changes, transformations, in their DNA. A cell's DNA contains a bunch of directions that guide a cell. Solid cells develop and partition in a systematic manner to keep your body working regularly. Be that as it may, when a cell's DNA is harmed and gets malignant, cells keep on partitioning, in any event, when new cells aren't required. As the cells amass, they structure a tumor, with time, the malignant growth cells can develop to attack and obliterate typical tissue close by. Also, malignant cells can go to different pieces of the body to shape stores there, metastasis. Risk factors. Components that may expand your danger of colon cancer include. More established age. Colon cancer can be analyzed at whatever stage in life, however a lion's share of individuals with colon disease are more established than 50. The paces of colon malignancy in individuals more youthful than 50 have been expanding, however specialists aren't sure why. African American race. African Americans have a more serious danger of colon malignant growth than do individuals of different races. An individual history of colorectal disease or polyps. On the off chance that you've effectively had colon malignant growth or non-cancerous colon polyps, you have a more serious danger of colon disease later on. Fiery intestinal conditions. Persistent provocative illnesses of the colon, like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's infection, can expand your danger of colon malignancy. Acquired conditions that increment colon malignant growth hazard. Some quality transformations through ages of your family can expand your danger of colon malignant growth essentially. Just a little level of colon malignancies are connected to acquired qualities. The most widely recognized acquired conditions that expand colon malignancy hazard are familial adenomatous polyposis FAP, and Lynch disorder, which is otherwise called inherited non-polyposis colorectal disease HNPCC. Family background of colon malignancy. You're bound to foster colon malignant growth in the event that you have a close family member who has had the sickness. On the off chance that more than one relative has colon disease or rectal malignant growth, your danger is much more prominent. Low fiber, high fat eating routine. 
colon disease and rectal malignancy might be related with a normal Western eating routine, which is low in fiber and high in fat and calories. Examination in this space has had blended outcomes. A few investigations have tracked down an expanded danger of colon disease in individuals who eat less carbs high in red meat and handled meat. A stationary way of life. Individuals who are idle are bound to foster colon malignancy. Getting standard actual work may diminish your danger of colon malignancy. Diabetes. Individuals with diabetes or insulin opposition have an expanded danger of colon malignancy. Weight. Individuals who are large have an expanded danger of colon malignancy and an expanded danger of passing on of colon disease when contrasted and individuals thought about typical weight. Smoking. Individuals who smoke may have an expanded danger of colon disease. Liquor. Weighty utilization of liquor expands your danger of colon malignancy. Radiation treatment for malignant growth. Radiation treatment guided at the midsection to treat past malignancies builds the danger of colon disease. Counteraction. Screening colon malignancy. Specialists suggest that individuals with a normal danger of colon malignancy consider colon disease screening around age 50. However, individuals with an expanded danger, for example, those with a family background of colon disease, ought to think about screening sooner. A few screening choices exist, each with its own advantages and downsides. Discussion about your alternatives with your PCP, and together you can choose which tests are fitting for you. Way of life changes to lessen your danger of colon disease. You can find ways to diminish your danger of colon malignant growth by making changes in your regular day-to-day -day existence. Make moves to Eat an assortment of natural products, vegetables and entire grains. Organic products, vegetables and entire grains contain nutrients, minerals, fiber and cell reinforcements, which may assume a part in malignancy counteraction. Pick an assortment of foods grown from the ground with the goal that you get a variety of nutrients and supplements. Savor liquor balance, if by any stretch of the imagination. In the event that you decide to drink liquor, limit the measure of liquor you drink to close to one beverage daily for ladies and two for men. Quit smoking. Converse with your PCP about approaches to stop that may work for you. Exercise most days of the week. Attempt to get in any event 30 minutes of activity on most days. On the off chance that you've been dormant, start gradually and develop step by step to 30 minutes. Likewise, converse with your primary care physician prior to beginning any activity program. Keep a solid weight. In the event that you are at a solid weight, work to keep up your weight by joining a sound eating regimen with everyday workout. On the off chance that you need to get thinner, Get some information about sound approaches to accomplish your objective. Plan to shed pounds gradually by expanding the measure of activity you get and diminishing the quantity of calories you eat. Colon malignant growth counteraction for individuals with a high danger. A few prescriptions have been found to lessen the danger of precancerous polyps or colon malignant growth. For example, some proof connections a diminished danger of polyps and colon disease to customary utilization of headache medicine or ibuprofen-like medications. In any case, it's not satisfactory what portion and what time allotment would be expected to lessen the danger of colon malignancy. Taking anti-inflammatory medicine day by day has a few dangers, including gastrointestinal draining and ulcers. These choices are for the most part saved for individuals with a high danger of colon malignancy. There isn't sufficient proof to prescribe these drugs to individuals who have a normal danger of colon disease. In the event that you have an expanded danger of colon disease, examine your danger factors with your primary care physician to decide if preventive drugs are alright for you.